Hey, what's going on, you guys? I have missed chatting with you so much. And welcome back to the SNHU online video podcast. My name is Giovanni. I am a sophomore at Southern New Hampshire University. Online, I am majoring in data analytics with a minor in STEM project management. So we have a couple of weeks to talk through since you guys, we haven't really talked since like week four of this course. So let's talk about that 205 and kind of what ended up happening. We always start with the grades, of course. So this course is done. So I want to show you guys, I got an A in the course. Okay. All the way down. This will be covering basically week five through week eight. And I will tell you how I really kind of broke things down, starting with week five. So your, when you're just looking at these two things, make sure that you are focusing your attention in here. Okay. On your assignment. This is both of these together, your journal entry that you always do. Okay. That by now, by the time you take this class, it should be really easy for you to do a journal entry. Okay. And week five too, when you're getting ready to do this kind of, um, this portion for like the, you're going out, you're picking out a specific field. This, you will have done this in week three. You're going to do a similar project in week five, two. Okay. Five, two. I believe in five, two, I did mine on five G technology and like the data analytics around five G technology and the teacher in that case went along and sent me like an email going over specifically like a breach that happened at a job that she worked at and it had to do with like 5g technology so that was a pretty interesting thing okay as far as the quizzes okay the quizzes in this class as i've expressed in previous videos those quizzes are intense so you getting a easy a out of the quizzes maybe you will i did I knew in order to pass these courses, I needed at least a D on the quizzes because all the quizzes were used, in my opinion, was to make sure, did you read the content that was presented in the resource section? So if you read that, you'll be able to pass it. I would read certain parts of it. Uh, so that's probably the reason why I didn't do as well as I um, should have, but I'm just putting it out there for you. Now, going forward, these. Week six, this was a major project. Okay. And in week six, I did data breaches and talked about, because you basically have these two projects. Okay. And these are your major, like 120 point <laughs> projects, as you can see. So it's really important that you focus in your attention. When you get to week six, this is not a week to fall behind because of the amount of work that these projects. So keep in mind, these projects, you have to have citations. One, you need to also make sure that in these class, in these posts that you do for both papers, you need to make sure, I believe that there are, they have like one of them, at least this one, your assignment tools and technology that has like a, like a format. She has a, like a formatted document that she always gives to you. That one is easy to fill out. This one is more of a paper. So you've got to like go through the details of it. Moving on to week seven, week seven, this is your third submission. This will catch up with you. And the reason why I'm saying week six, week seven are your key points is because these three projects are not like journal posts. So they're not very formal. They require citations. So, and I believe it's three or more citations. Week eight, not really a lot that went into week eight. So you're just doing a journal. You do have a, for seven, you do have a quiz for seven. Again, like I said, I just needed to make sure for quiz for my quizzes, I just focused it on at least getting the D so that my grades would stay in the A range. Your journal reflection, you end out the course. So the portions that you want to focus on primarily is going to be here. Once you get past five and you get into six, seven, these are going to be your intense points and you're going to have a lot of material and five. And the part I was talking about the way that I go through, these are 
I always go through what the learning objectives are, and then I always look down here to find out what I'm going to need to do. As you go through, these are the resources that I was referring to when I say, when you get ready to take your quiz, the information comes from these. And sometimes in the week, I didn't go through every one of them. Sometimes I would just pick and choose what I wanted to go through. So you don't necessarily have to make that same type of effort, but I just wanted to put that out there. And that is really it for getting you through weeks five, all the way up until week eight. And that will close out dot 205. And so I did send an email to the instructor, letting her know this was a challenging course. I appreciated her specifically coming back and her stuff was not easy. I thanked her for her book recommendations because she always had book recommendations. So in this course, when you get ready to go through it, if you have questions about it, you can reach out to the instructor. We, they do have people that can work with you as well. If for some reason you're starting to fall behind in the academic support section, I do want to put that out because in previous videos, people have asked me, they do have tutoring. Okay. Even if you're falling behind in your work here. So just, just know that part. And that's really it for the, the coursework. And that'll get you all the way to the end. If you have any questions, or if this is something that you think someone who might be going to SNHU for data analytics might benefit from, please share this with them. You can comment and let me know if there's anything that you'd like for me to cover that maybe I haven't in this particular class, and I'll be happy to do it. I'll talk to you guys later.